this is uh, this is new, and I ask you to come with me on this one. It's in two parts. <coughs> it's titled Eraser. The brown dots dance like Brazil, like Irish feet after whiskey, like a teen girl drunk on her own plaid miniskirts and the sweet smell of the spike-haired boy in algebra. There is dirt in those freckles. There are stories in insult. There is shame the size of Central Park or your boss's SUV or even the Holocaust. My mother, as a child, takes sandpaper to her own cheeks, scrubs with cotton balls dipped in bleach, hides beneath scarves and long sleeves in summer. At seven, her grandpa praises those freckles, kisses each one, kisses and kisses and kisses far into the stretches of skin without freckles. At 10, she tells herself that the wonder of a redhead is one even grandfathers can't resist. At 13, she is a galaxy of dancing spots. The blonde girls tell her she is ugly. The boys who receive her valentines call her names. By 18, she has married the first man who ever said she was pretty. Easy bride for the backhand. By 29, she is giving birth to another man's baby. Divorce papers spread across the table, and this new man has a ring in his pocket. By 40, she is alone, save the daughter she didn't intend. By 45, she is passed out on the front porch. She is passed out on a bathroom stall. She is screwing on a pool table in front of the freckle-faced daughter she never wanted. She is vomiting as the daughter holds back her hair. She is punching the freckle-faced daughter. She is erasing the freckle-faced daughter and the men and the valentines and the red hair and the whole galaxy. A man who has just had a final shot of whiskey, one shot too many, who figures the drive is short and there's no traffic and the only thing on these dark country roads after midnight are deer and the occasional skunk, who then cries when one striped little beast rolls up under his tire and though the blood washes off in the next rain, the skunk smell pushes up through the vents every time he turns up the heat, probably half praises an unnamed God that it was not another car a car filled with names and birth dates and photo albums, half happy it was just a lurking midnight animal. A pregnant woman who does not want to be pregnant, who will soon no longer be pregnant, but who, for now and for the next two weeks, must lie only on her back, must graduate unwillingly into Walmart maternity wear, must fold Kleenex into perfect squares to absorb the milk from her leaking breasts, probably wonders the color of her fetus's eyes counts the number of freckles across a nose she will never kiss. The galaxies undo themselves, unravel from their gravitational architecture. Whole stars fall limp, molecules deconstruct and implode, atoms simply dissolve. You rip pages from your journal, put your toothbrush in your pocket, leave the apartment unlocked, board a train with a one-way ticket. The boy with the broken heart cuts the wings from a bird he has starved in a cage. The redhead takes scissors to her stubborn hair. I photoshopped the freckles off my cheeks in photographs. Write poems to be unborn. 